Hi everyone, and welcome to the next episode. We are continuing on, and I think there's going to be a lot of farming to do. That's what we were doing last time. The sour gas boiler is still working, uh, so that's all good, I think. The, the generators are finally going absolutely nuts. Uh, the gas is flowing, so it kind of seems like it's working. It must be generating loads of power, like ridiculous amounts of power. Central load, 44 kilowatts. Uh, right. So we were farming on this planetoid a lot. This was uh, the key one. Uh, we just even to it. We might need to... We stick a couple more... Uh, uh, critter drop-offs down. That'll help us move the uh, bits around. And then... I don't know why there's mealwood seeds in there. And we were also trying to, uh, we've got glass on the top here, that's not good. Uh, trying to, oh no, shouldn't do, set filters on the, on the deconstruct. Uh, get those done. And then, uh, yeah, so expanding the farm and planting at the same time, which is ambitious, but, uh, uh, worth doing, because there's a lot to plant. Um, and then we also need to get this going in terms of actually producing food. Uh, so that was that. And then the other thing was trying to open this up. So I had a look. Um, I was digging up here to do some wild farming. But I did some measurements uh, and realised that that is in the wrong place. Uh, so actually, the, uh, the cooling and the spoms will go pretty much all the way down the right hand side. So I need to move them a bit over, right. We are, yeah, we're trying to expand food because food's holding us back. So where I actually need to strip mine is the core. So what I'm kind of thinking is we just rip this whole area open um, and go from there. But in the meantime, we just try and uh, sort this out. I don't know why there's a broken liquid pipe. I assume that something was too cold there. Uh, so let's mop up all this stuff uh, and tidy this area up. Then we can uh, we can just strip mine this all happily. A little bit of natural gas in there. Uh, and then a lot of focus will be on planting. So uh, I really hope you guys like wild planting because there's going to be a lot of it. Uh, this is this is going to be the focus for quite a bit now. Unfortunately, there will be a tutorial by on uh, on wild planting uh, coming very soon. In fact, if you're watching the uh, if you're watching this as a vod on YouTube, then the tutorial by will already be out. Um, as I'm recording, it's uh, it's work in progress, so it'll definitely come out before this vod. Hi, uh, Leofar, welcome in. I saw you around in um, you were with Max, weren't you? I've been watching a bit Max, a bit of Grey Rook. I think they're both live currently, so I'm I'm in competition, as it were. But uh, it's all right. Always good to have uh, a variety of only creators on the platform. The more people playing, only the better. You with Max, yeah, yeah, they're doing quite well, I think. Um, I'll say not as crazy as this, but n no one is going as crazy as I've got. <laughs> <I do. laughs> uh. I'd worry about sounding arrogant, but I mean that's just that's just true. This this is uh, this is madness that I don't think anyone else is attempting. That's just a objective fact, right? So yeah, we're a bit down on seeds. So what I'm thinking is we might need to re-add some seeds. I don't know that we're lacking a bit here because I didn't put the bins in. Uh, right, we can do that and that, and that one's going. Cool, cool, cool. So we've got three pips. I'm just wondering if there's any more lying about. I don't think so. I think the more pips, the better. That's kind of all we've got. We could try and make some more. Deep fry peanut butter. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I know a lot of the guys uh, stream a lot more. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for using the emojis. That's uh, looking pretty sweet. Um, Yeah, I know. Oh, oh no, that had got you. 
Damn ads. I need I need my uh, seven seven cents or whatever it is. <laughs> like fraction of a cent per ad. Um mutated plants, uh no, I don't usually do that, Kem. Um I mean I have done them before, but usually just to get the uh, GMO AOK -okay achievement. In terms of practicality, um, to be honest, I think most of them aren't that good. Um, they don't actually help a lot, uh, especially with wild farming. If you're doing you're suffocating, why why are you standing about up there? Uh, yeah, if you're doing um, I file in. Welcome in. If you're doing uh, domestic farming, then having the mutations can be useful. Uh, but for... Well, that's not worked, has it? For, um... No, I can delete this. Hold on. For wild farming, I don't think the mutations are that useful. That's just my take. Um, plus, it's difficult to get them in so bigger numbers. Uh, that... So the thing with, obviously with wild farming, is you need four times as many plants as when you've got domestic ones. And trying to mutate that many plants is a complete pain as well. So that's why I don't go for it. Um, yeah, just practical reasons. Why, why is poison just sleeping there? I have no idea. There are beds, right? There's, there's four beds. She has a bed. Uh, question marks, question mark tubes. Um, the bed is not underwater, despite my best attempts to uh, do that. Uh, why have I got unreachable toilet? That doesn't sound good. The toilets are full because a pipe is blocked. Uh, why is this blocked? Where's this going? Okay, we've got to trace the problem half the way across the map. Okay, that comes out to here. That comes out to here. Uh... Okay, so there's water coming in this. Oh my. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So what's happened is the the natural gas output, um, the water the water output from the natural gas brick is too much for the toilets and the other industrial brick. So, oh god, this is a mess, and I need to fix this. Um, so so we need to, um. Uh, pop that over like that. We need more water capacity um, to get this done. Too much water. Uh, can you get some, produce a lot more than normal plant? Um, not really. Uh, I can't remember them all off the top of my head, to be honest. Uh, someone's making a mess now because the toilets are all full. Um, I think there's ones that like that improve it, but then they take longer. I can't remember that. Yeah, that right. So, so to be fair, violin, right? My my piping is good up here, um, and down the height of the map is not too bad. This area is a bit of a mess because I haven't really done it properly. Um, so what I should do is probably rip out a lot of that and uh, sort out the piping. That would be a good idea. Why is that not insulated? I thought I went over that with insulated. Apparently not. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, what happened here? Uh, this is my mess of a uh, uh, setup. Is that okay? Okay, so that that fish is dead. Uh, yeah, fish is dead. Okay, I need to convert all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people are making mess, fish is dead. I think this is looping, which is fine, right? Or not. Yeah, this should loop. Okay, this 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 did not loop. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to redesign all of this, but I don't really have space too because I put this right by my rocket exhaust, which was uh, not a clever place to put it. Um, I tell you what we should do is oh God, just, oh, too many things going on. Too many things going on. Uh, but anyway, we can we'll stick the tropical fry in there, right? Uh, is that one? We'll try and grab that and then refill it and go from there, and hopefully that's fine. Uh, and then I'll have to have a think about uh, trying to automate that a bit better. By a bit better, I mean correctly. <laughs> is, it is not correct right now. Um, so, yeah. The, the, yeah, the automation is a mess. But th this will work. This will work. It's a little bit manual. 
every 25 cycles I'll, I'll sort the egg out and uh, at some point we'll fix it uh right so so okay now we can cut that good so now the water's all coming out and it's fine yeah this this brick is producing it should be producing five kilograms per second of water right on average this is 5.5 yeah, you sent the desires of your fire, so I, I think I understood them. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure, again, it exactly works because, stupidly, I've put it right under my rocket exhaust, which is really the not, be not the best place for a fish farm, you know, but um, that's what we've done. So I might have to come up with a uh, an interesting way of uh, let's try and do that. Okay, you can do those ones. Um, yeah, and what I was also saying is I, we need to put in a system here to sort the temperatures out because none of this uh, none of this water weed's growing. It's got the right atmosphere because there's water here, which is good, but we don't have the temperature. It's too cold because this was all ice biome. And then this bit's too hot, or is it? I don't know. Water weeds? Probably about that temperature, isn't it? Um... So yeah, ideally we could get these growing, because if we can get these growing, then we can get food. In fact, if we can get food here, we can send it through to the um, to here as well and try and support some dupe numbers. That might be a sensible way to do it. Uh, but yeah, we're getting a good stream of water down there, and I think we've now sorted the, uh, the toilets out, which is good. Uh, so that's all uh, sorted. Apparently it was too much for one pipe output, basically, the petroleum generator and the natural gas generator a brick combination was too much for it okay so what we can try and do is just combine all of this because uh, this pump's actually quite good because it's de it's just taking everything out um, <laughs> we might have to just move that pump Somewhere down down the bottom. I assume they're just suffocating on second planetoid. And if this is all moppable, which hopefully it is, so is that a steam that's a hot steam vent. Okay. Uh, um oh we will need to capture that, won't we? Interesting, that's gonna get right in the way as well. Um Ooh. Do you reckon we could capture a hot steam vent with a with a thermium gas pump? And just deal with it elsewhere? Does that does that sound extra? That sounds a bit that's like a really odd way to deal with a steam a steam uh, geyser. Why not yeah. Usually you just deal with it where it is. I wonder if we can just pump it somewhere. And then that way we can close it in like a normal uh a normal one. And uh save us some effort. All right, let's get rid of that. So we can use the uh the critter drop hops to move the pips around. What's holding us up is over here. And what we might want to do is just reseed this. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, if we just reseed this, where's the... Okay, none of these are set to anything. We do seed water weed. Da, 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 da. And just uh, pop it in those. We'll uh, get that going. It went to one to plant somewhere. But this one's holding us up. Okay. Yep, and then the uh, the construction over here is going all right. All right. Let's do it. Uh, we can take that out. Uh, we can run this across. There's definitely the benefit of using the um, the liquid valve. It's so uh, so much more efficient. Oh, oh, in in the piping overlay. Come on. Do do do. What? <sighs> Just keep uh, keep building, keep planting. Uh, all good. Okay, this water should be flowing out. Yep. Just flooding the base, you know. Just uh, quietly <laughs> making a giant pool. We're not dealing with. Uh, what's entombed? Petroleum generators entombed with sand. Something getting too hot. 240, right, so, so that happens when uh, it gets too hot, where's the, uh, maybe we should, uh, we should back this down a bit, just because, uh, so what happens, right, if you don't set this up properly and the industrial brick overheats, 
the polluted water boils off into wa into steam and leaves dirt behind, and then the steam still uh, steam the dirt can turn into sand if it gets too hot. Uh, so I think if we just pour a lot more water back in, we can just cool this down a bit. Um, I don't know how well the temperature shift is across here. Yeah, okay, that's not good because it's um, it's doing that. What we should do then, I think, is um, got some diamond. Hopefully, we can uh, maybe just pull this across like that, something like that. Um, see if we can uh, uh, try and spread the cooling a bit because uh, this should now be about two hundred over here, but it's still two fifty. I can't actually remember what the um, what the temperature is for that. Does anyone remember what the um, the temperature for dirt into sand is? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, the the melting point there is higher than it's actually doing that. Ooh, iron. Yes. Uh, I know algae to dirt is one twenty five. I can't remember what the dirt to sand is. It must be two hundred and fifty ish. Uh, right. Okay, so we've done this now, so we can. Uh, we can just uh, drop them all there, and hopefully that'll get them planting. Get that going. Okay. There's more pips here, so I could... well, I'm going to need them over here. Alright, what else are we doing? So we're mopping this up, trying to get rid of this mess. Uh, and then we'll just strip mine all of this stuff. Why have we got no power here too? That's not submerged or anything, or anything weird. Why have we got no power? Being overdrawn or...? Yeah, okay, we're, we're probably... Yeah, we've got way too many machines on this wire. This is, uh... It's not so clever. Yeah, we are just about pulling uh, liquid off of it, so... Why has no one fixed this pipe? Is this uh, a bugged pipe? There's no errand to fix it? Yeah, okay. They do like doing that. But sometimes it just bugs out like that. Just always check the errand tab. If there's an errand, you're good. If there isn't, then you got a problem. Sometimes it bugs out like that. It doesn't give you an errand. At least we have the errand tab. It's one, definitely one of the most useful tabs in the info card. Um, definitely recommend using that. Uh, right, get this to all critters, whatever, and we'll just uh, wrangle some up so we can... Uh, we can get moving a bit quicker up there. Because this is holding us up from doing anything else. Oh, I can take that one out. The plant is going quite well. I mean, we're uh, getting through it. It's unpermitted food. Turner. So this is because we've run out of uh, barbecue. But everyone should have pickled meal. Except they don't. I don't know. No, everyone does? I don't know. Building broken. Uh, right, okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, fine, okay. I'm gonna say, I was, I, was, <laughs> I was worried about this having another meltdown. Um, is Bubbles dead yet? Hello, Starless, how are you doing? You know, um, I have another Bubbles, and I have a Starless Abstract Bubbles. You, you are very much still alive. You have survived a very long time. Where are you? Uh, uh, there you are. There you are. Look. Uh, oh, where's the age thing? The age thing's in here, right? Eight hundred and eighty-eight cycles. You are. You are an old dupe, and a, an ugly crier, and a yokel. Uh, I make no aspersions. This is this is what the uh, the dice roll gave you. But you got. I think you got loads of. Um, Loads of uh, skill points at this point. I probably just haven't even given you because you just go nuts. But yeah, you've got 23 skill points, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, but not not only did I name Bubbles after you, I then also have another Bubbles. There are there are two Bubbles, and you are one of them. Um, we need more suits, I think. We've got 40 dupes over here. We should have more suits. I don't know. Let's stick another... I don't know. Whatever. We'll just do some more suits. 
For sure, an ugly cryer. Oh no. Sad times. Look at my, look at my sad emoji. <laughs> oh. What? Well, look, look, if you want to deal with it and you want to murder them in your, uh, in your dining halls, then uh, you, you've got to get back playing some Oni. This is what I'm, I'm here to Ambassador Oni. Encourage everyone to play it. <laughs> Oh come on! I miss I miss the uh, Starless Abstract uh, Oni streams. This is how I how I learn. Have you checked the Fast Track forum? What do you mean by that, Leo? Far? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, right. Still just wild planting. Still wild planting. Oh, fish is okay. We'll, uh, we'll let that one go. And we are, we do have fish. We have fish. But there, there, there's something entertaining about terrible Oni, right? Um, you know, we love it. We, we don't want everyone to be good at Oni. Well, I don't know, actually, as someone who makes tutorials, I pr that's probably entirely the wrong stance. <laughs> we do want everyone to be good at Oni. But, you know, there's, uh, there's fun in the chaos. Everyone played it perfectly, whatever that means. And, uh, that'd be too boring, you know? It's... It's really fun when uh, I'm blowing up nuclear reactors because uh, I'm being an idiot. Thanks for for great content. B. Um, yes, yeah, so far. Uh, I yeah. So I did read that post. Sorry, I just forgot what it was called. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of like, it seemed a bit um, sort of experimental to install. I would definitely feel a bit nervous installing it. Um, I really don't need. Uh, I really don't need crashes. <laughs> I'm. Uh, very conscious of that. Right, uh, we do have a bit of a petroleum problem here too. Um, do we... I think if we stuck a pump in here... Do I have any power? Oh yeah, we've got loads of power. In fact, we can just put that there and then it'll be even easier. So we'll check that in and then uh, we'll put a hydro sensor on there. Oh, why are we doing steel? I don't think we need steel. Are we in a boiler or something? Probably. Aluminium. Or aluminum. Uh, for my American audience, uh, the aluminum. Um, I'm still glad to get back to it. It's a brand new Gwent game. You mean, um, from, uh, City Project Red? They've got a new... Or did, sorry, did they even do the original Gwent? I can't remember. Um... There's no official one. Yeah, okay. I saw you were playing a bit of... Uh, is it like a... Um, I don't know, DLC or add-on or something like the... Uh, oh, what was it called? The um, the campaign one was for, uh, for the game. The uh, bah, Thronebreaker, that's it. Thank you, yeah. Remember there was Queen... Queen Meave? Queen Maeve? I don't know. I don't, you can tell... I, uh, well, I never played it. I played the... Uh, Played the base Gwent game. Just it's never really captured the uh, uh, the joy of the uh, the Witcher Three version for me. I know the Witcher Three version was super simple and very easy and exploitable, but it's just it was just very satisfying. It and then just never never the same after that. Also, after they reworked a load of stuff, remember they had that huge uh, that huge change. I was looking forward to, and then I was very disappointed with. Uh, okay, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so you got a lot on your uh, to playlist then. This is a, uh, this is the problem. Uh, but yeah, I do. I did buy uh, Mass Effect actually. I got that on the summer sale. I haven't played it yet. Um, I got that and the Total War Rome remaster, and I've been playing Rome, but I haven't been played Mass Effect yet. Um, Probably won't do that on stream. I don't know. I'm not sure what I can bring to that, but uh, who, who knows? If there's a high demand for watching me play Mass Effect, then uh, then I'll, I'll think about it. But uh, it's not quite only. Uh, right. This is all a bit jammed. So this is just breaking because this water's too cold. No, oh, yeah. How is this? Br so this is bringing brine up. Where is this brine coming from? Oh! Ah, okay, right, got it. Um... Ah, bit of a problem. 
this brine's too cold. And I haven't really thought about that at all. What I should probably do is... I mean, the, the environment's quite hot, right? If I just made this granite, say, we could uh, we'd probably get away with it. I don't know. It's not a great solution. We'll have to uh, we'll have to work that bit out. Um, okay, so constantly keep an eye on this wild planting. It, uh, it's very labour intensive. Definitely can't uh, just leave it alone. That's all suffocating. Who's suffocating? Uh, poison. How are you suffocating now? You're in a load of oxygen. Um, Alright, Solus. Yeah, a uh, few games you've picked up. Um, Cling your toys. That play, play Mass Effect. <laughs> Bubbles. Bubbles will survive. Uh, all the dupes will survive unless I'm incompetent. Like that. That's not good. Uh, yes, we'll be alright. But uh, appreciate you dropping in, yeah, and uh, hope you enjoy the stream. I may well pop in later on if you're still on when I'm finished. And uh, we'll say hello. But uh, good to catch you. Uh, right. Yeah, so in the meantime, we're just quietly, uh, quietly and steadily planting all this. Um, the problem is there's too much to build, so we really need more dupes on here to kind of speed this up. I see they've got nuts with planting whatever in here. <laughs> I I do have a lot of priority nines, Kim. Yeah, I mean, I, I try and turn them off uh, after I've done, but to be fair, to be fair, right, it's not actually too bad. It's not too bad. I've just dragged over some stuff. Um, I'm good with the Trotoffs being priority nine. Uh, that shouldn't be. So this probably just needs some tidying up. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad for it. As you can see. Uh, I just forget to take some of these off sometimes. Let me play your safe for five minutes. <laughs> I'm sure it wouldn't take you five minutes to murder all of them. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, right. That's above... I don't know, 200? Liam wondering... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there, there's been a lot of deaths. There really has. Um, which is, is very unfortunate. Right, anyway, we've got this in, so that will help us out, because we can... Uh, we can start pumping this petroleum out, because there's quite a lot of it down there, uh, and we should probably deal with it. Uh, and then down here... I don't know why this is taking so long. I mean, I set this up quite a while ago and it's still going. I really just want it out so we can strip mine this. Uh, yeah, I just I use priority nine just to like get it done and get it done quickly. Like right there and then. I usually don't leave long term tasks on priority nine, except for stuff like um slicks to drop offs or, or critter drop offs, um things like that that you kind of when when you need them they're always high priority. But I'm, yeah, I'd say I'm mostly quite good with um, not abusing priority nine. Okay, okay, so I think that's just still going. I'm just leave them to it. Okay. Got that mopped up. Da -da -da. Okay, and then we'll just replace this pipe. And hopefully with a bit of uh, granite down here, we might be able to heat this up enough. Uh, Ooh, oh, yeah, what I could do is actually run it against this water here. That would not be a bad idea. But, ah, uh, I want to do it in a way that isn't just completely temporary. Um, and all these pipes are in the wrong place, and this is a mess. I mean, this is this is not how I should be laying out this infrastructure. That's not, uh, not so clever. Uh... Hmm... I'm just wondering if there's a way we could boil this, because I'm also thinking about actually sand usage. Now I know I've got loads and loads of it, but uh, if we're passing polluted water through, then uh, it could be a problem. But I think this is all salt water and brine. Suffocate. Poison is, is really struggling here. And the, the gas levels aren't too bad. Okay. The, uh, the pips wandered off from the most important area again. Re-wrangle them back, shall we? We need this one planted. This 
top layer always uh, drives the rest. And then, so in terms of pipes, we'll get the right overlay. Uh, I think we're probably good to send another uh, another lot through. Oh, we've got sand over here. Hey, okay, principles. Yeah, see, food is food's the issue. Uh, uh. Oh, well, what I was also going to try and do was um, get in here and get the sulfur out. Why is this damaged? I don't like this. This is damaged. We got... Uh, this is cracking the pipes. But it's too cold. Too cold. Maybe this is... Uh, this is working a bit better now. We can heat this a little bit, maybe. Uh, so I wanted to get in here. I'm thinking I could do that with a liquid lock. If uh, we did it cleverly... So we'll see. Um, so I'm thinking, because we do have room for an auto sweeper. What is that deep fried peanut butter? A uh, that a pip? A wrangled pip. Uh, we can get in here and uh, under under a liquid lock, and then um, then put in an auto sweeper and a uh, conveyor loader. Uh, so this could be anything. So we may as well do. What? Aluminium. You see, if we put it there, it's going to miss this tile, and that tile's got quite a lot on it. Because the joint plate is not in a good place. Hmm. That's rather annoying. Does that mean we're going to... So if we, okay, we have to shuffle all this around. So if we do that there, and then we put in a... a conveyor loader... Not tungsten. Uh, there. And we can put in an auto sweeper here. We'll just check the uh, the auto sweeper still fits. Uh, it fits there, yeah. So we'll be able to put it there if we move the joint plate. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll put in the shipping there. And we can uh, bring this out. And where on earth are we going to go with it? That's good, another good question. Uh, I mean, really, we should... Uh, oh, heat damage. Is it... Uh, maybe it's evaporating in the pipes, not freezing in the pipes. We've gone the wrong way with this. <laughs> uh, hmm, interesting, interesting. Maybe this needs to be ceramic. Or insulation, but we don't have any insulation. Okay, yeah, this could be a problem. Could be a bit of a problem. Uh, but at least we can repair it when we get in there. So do that. Uh, sweep all this stuff up, and then uh, I don't know why there's a. That's there. That's just there to get them across. I assume. Uh, and then power wire across. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've actually we have flow. We have flow. I mean, there's loads of gas in here now. It's getting more gas than the uh, the generators can burn. So it's uh, it's working. It's working, and we are getting carbon dioxide out, and that's all uh, flowing across to here using a, a infinite storage type uh, type setup to. Um, to pump it out, and then this is uh, this is all lovely and uh, and well uh, well carbonated, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide donated. I don't know that sounds a bit horrible. Okay, Can we get rid of those. Get rid of those. Uh, good. So we keep coming across, and then hopefully this has got glass in, right? They do. Take those out. We've got glass here. Yep. Excellent. And here. And here. Yes, any up here? Uh, by the looks of it. There's snow on top. Okay. Uh, none, none. And uh, 500. 500 will do. That needs doing. Uh, okay. I'm just wondering if we should move the glass forge or... I mean, we don't really need to, do we? So... We just keep extending this uh, 
this pipe run down. We'll be fine. Can just uh, run Fill all those ones in, and we also need to get down here too. Okay, so we've got a second one here. Um, it's the liquid valve. Put that in here. We just do this way as well. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. There was a much wild army. Uh, we try and convert 100% of the carbon dioxide to petroleum. Yes. Yep. That's why I've got uh, the hopefully the correct amount of slicksters to eat it all. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, yeah, which is why I've got a giant pool of petroleum already down below it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. This is this is looking quite good. I think it's looking uh, looking sensible. Let's pop those in and get that done. I've got to count as well how many plants I've got here. I've no idea how many plants this is. But yeah, what I'm saying is we should. So in order to actually expand the numbers here, we really need more. Uh, uh, we really need more um, uh, more dupes, so we need more food. So rather than just keep planting these uh, these slowly uh, and not have them grow because they're too cold, we should probably stick some heating in here. Um, now, ideally, that will be a uh, uh, that will be a cooling loop or a, or a heating loop. I mean, it'll do both. I'm kind of thinking for now, right? If we just chucked, uh, we just chucked in a, uh, a, a tepidizer like this, we can uh, we can just burst it a bit. Where's the knock gate? Use our good old friend, the tricked out tepidizer. Um, you hope it works out. You don't want your underbase to be completely occupied by selectors. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a bit late for that, but yeah, I have planned for it. So the uh, this is the obviously the mixed brick, uh, and the intent is right. So I measured it out uh, earlier today. The size of this brick is about this big. Yeah, <laughs> that's how big it needs to be to eat all of the CO two. So we're going to do that. Hopefully, that is the plan. Do a ridiculous giant build. Uh, right. Come on, get that one done. Get that one done. Da, da, da. Let's speed that up. Uh, 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 uh. This is um, this is looking good. Looking sensible. Just keep going with that. But yeah, I, no, I'm excited to see it too. I mean, part of the uh, definitely part of the point of trying to do this uh, challenge isn't just to. Um, it's still too hot. Uh, isn't just to get out a number of dupes. It's actually just to fill up the entire area. Uh, yes, yeah, it's too cold. It's too cold. That geyser. Also, we got just a load of rubbish in here. This is a hot one. It's a hot one. Hmm. 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 Making more mess. Uh, they keep repairing it, but then it's just it's breaking again because it's too cold. It's still too cold. Hmm. Might just have to uh, stop that. Because uh, I do just want to strip mine this. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. And I do want to get right the way down. Um, I had Gabriel Candy, 2077. That's a long time in the future for... Uh, some candy, but welcome in to see a, a new face. Um, you heard maybe from me the update broke it and changed the trick to that Um, uh, no, it didn't break it. Uh, what Clay did is, uh, yeah, sorry, changed, yes. So, a while ago, I mean, this, this isn't a recent change, but um, quite a while ago, they made it, uh, I can't remember the exact number, four, like, something like 40 times less efficient over 120 degrees. So it, the numbers on the wiki, um, if you want to check it out, or I could bring it up if I weren't being lazy. But um, 
Uh, so they basically tried to take away that exploit of uh, using it for free power by taking the efficiency out above that point. So it still works, uh, it's just a lot slower and it's a lot less abusable if you wanted to abuse it. Uh, and yeah, so in terms of like using it under a steam turbine, it was energy positive, I think, without that change. So you put in less electricity than it took to, uh, uh, than, it, than the steam turbine uh, produced from the heat it made. It was that efficient. So yeah, they nerfed it above that point, but it, it still works. It still works. Um, and anyway, here, here all we're doing is uh, uh, just heating this area up. So that won't be a problem. Although basically we're just going to trick it out so it works in gas. Um, there's not enough water here to to make it work uh, normally. I say I should do a cooling loop really, but uh, I haven't quite done that. And we could go with that. But if we can get these plants growing, that I mean that would be super useful because then uh, we can actually um, we can actually get more dupes, and then we can build quicker, and then and, and so on and so on. Um, there's a lot of work needs to go onto that second planetoid in terms of base building and uh, and uh, farming preparation. There's just so much to do here. Yeah, hope everyone had a good week. So we're going on. Glad it's the weekend. Ooh, another Grand Prix on this weekend as well. I don't know if any of you watch the uh, watch Formula One. If you're an American viewer, then probably not. Although, to be fair, it has been getting a bit more popular over there. You know, the uh, there's a lot of uh, NASCAR and stuff over there. Uh, we don't really get over here, we don't really get any NASCAR or anything like that. It seems quite interesting. I mean, I'd, I might even watch it if it were on a bit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to have to uh, have to talk a bit over this uh, wild planting, which is going to take, <laughs> take a while. Uh, and strip mining, so... Yeah, this is kind of, this is a bit of only where we're just into watching mode, where uh, we kind of done a bit. Although, to be fair, the wild planting is quite, I'm saying, is it? Uh, uh, you can't really just sit back and watch that. But, uh, yeah, this strip mining, we're just going to wind it up and let them go. I'm saying, um, I'm going to need to, oh, I need to strip mine all of this. Uh, and what I was also going to try and do, this was a thought I had, just to try and, um, sort myself out in terms of like where stuff is going this so what's actually going to happen is this line here ooh, should be my main ladder so ideally this is going to be one unbroken ladder now uh, we can sort that bit out that does go through an oil reservoir so that's not going to be uh, unbroken there so we'll have to loop around that somehow but very much the plan is for this ladder so if i stick it in now um that's going to help me uh, plan out roughly where I need to farm and then the second ladder right goes the other side of the industrial brick the mixed brick uh, it goes down here we'll run it through the boiler though I was also thinking about relocating the boiler so that is a uh, that is another potential project uh, and it goes through here and through there uh, and down here now I want to deal with this uh Scan that because that's going to be an endless mopping job if we're draining oil out. I do want to deal with this liquid a bit better because what I did previously is just dump it all at the bottom in this pit, uh, which was fine. I mean, that worked. That worked okay for me. But um, if we can do it a bit neater, then uh, we can save ourselves a bit of trouble, particularly with mopping and all that nonsense. We can avoid the mopping. There's a pit down there. Uh, and try and uh, try and dig this out in a in a sensible way. Okay. And then once everything gets to this pump, uh, we should be fine. We can always move that pump if we need to. Right. Keep an eye on this damn wild farming. 
Okay, we are heating quite a lot because uh, they haven't built the thermo sensor. We've got absolutely no control here. But that water weed is growing, right? It's growing. Yes! There we go. We are growing water weed. Now the problem is we're going to make heat quite locally and then it's going to overheat the plants it's next to and still not be enough to um, to heat the rest. So that is a problem. But uh, we'll have to uh, just kind of burst it on and off, which again is a bit manual. Um, ideally we'd want to automate everything if we could, but... Uh, so I think it's going to take more time to try and cool this properly than if we just uh, kind of uh, work it out a bit like this and then uh, do it manually and then fix it uh, later. We've got more dupes to build the stuff we need. Uh, yeah, the food situation is not great. It is not great. I wonder if they're trying to fertilise this with dirt from uh, the industrial brick, I think. That's <laughs> This is probably just overheating like nuts. So good thing we've got Cooley Loop on that. But we do have a somewhat unlimited source of dirt. I'd say somewhat. I mean, I mean, it is an unlimited source of dirt. That, that is fair. Uh, it makes a fair bit, actually. I mean, I, hadn't, I, I haven't run the numbers on this, but five generators, that's doing... Uh, it's doing quite a bit of dirt there. I don't know what the exact numbers are. I'm sure I could work it out. Uh, right, okay. Well, we're not coming in over here at all, so this is not getting done. And if we just prioritise that. Uh, what I also needed to work out was... Um, how to set up a liquid lock here in a way that uh, worked. So I was thinking if I dab a bit of liquid on this tile, delete those two, then we should be fine. The question is, how do we get a little bit of liquid on that tile? And also, what on earth do we do with this super coolant? <laughs> uh, we could use this to fill the next uh, next sour gas boiler, so that's probably uh, sensible. Yeah, okay, so building that is... Uh, let's done that. But also, this is hot, right? So it's going to... Yeah, it's let a load of gas out. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to play with this for a bit. We'll see. There's a lot of natural gas in here, though. Jeez, that is uh, that is good. That's good. That's what we want. I'm just gonna constantly keep going back to this planetoid and double checking. They're not planting this one. There we go. The pips aren't anywhere nearby, so use the old uh, drop off. Uh, right, they've built this now. So if we set this to like I don't know 40, uh, above 40, and then uh, yeah. Now this isn't foolproof because the um, the conductivity in gas is not great, so this will heat up way hotter than the sensor. That's why I've been a bit conservative with it. Uh, but we need to uh, kind of heat everything up. But at the very least, if we can keep <laughs> we can keep that growing, I mean, the three uh, rewards we aren't going to feed a whole lot of people, but uh, it's a start. Um, is a classic planetoid the same size as the spaced out planetoid? Um, no. The, so for the classic planetoid in, the classic setting in the spaced out DLC, the uh, planetoid is the same size as the base gate, the, the main planetoid. And then you get a second planetoid, which is uh, obviously smaller than the first one, but a normal spaced out size. So no, I think is the answer. It's a very simple one. The classic is bigger, and and I wanted that because I want uh, want all the oil, uh, as is obvious from how I've uh, how I've played. Uh, and so the classic one just has more oil. Do, do, do. Okay, plant that one. See the heating. Maybe you should, uh, if that's, oh, that's gold, okay, gold which is helping. Okay, we'll set this a bit lower. I mean, the smaller planet was the same size. I think so, well, so the, um, when you're playing spaced out, the outer planetoids are always the same regardless of whatever you play. Uh, so the outers are always the same. Then the, the, the inner is the difference. So the second... One on the inner, I think, is a normal size. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I think they're about the same. Uh, but yeah. 
I say I quite like the Moonlit one. The Moonlit, I think, if I were just playing for whatever, the Moonlit one is um, is my favourite scenario. If I'm doing an all achievement run, I take the Desolands one. That's my favourite scenario. Uh, but we're not doing all achievements here. We're doing crazy, crazy builds. Come on, why wouldn't you plant this one? I do yeah okay the pressure needs to be 100 grams i know that's a thing that's a thing now having uh no, the rules now he's, so he's not doing it because he just picked it up and he didn't do it temperature is about the same sometimes it's just trolling with me i swear because there's a seed there there's two seeds there and they just need to stick it in the in the floor go on you know you want to they're just taunting me damn pips Pips are, pips are like the most useful, one of the most useful critters and one of the most annoying at the same time. They, uh, they manage to do both. They, uh, they help and they annoy. Why won't they plant? I wonder if there is actually something preventing that planting. <laughs> thank you, thank you deep fried peanut butter. Yes, I think that's probably, that's a very appropriate emoji for this stream. Hmm. And this is also the other thing with wild planting is you're never sure if there's actually something you've done wrong and uh, you you haven't there's something stopping them or if they're just being annoying it could be either sometimes they're just annoying sometimes there's actually a reason why they're not doing it uh, so yeah okay so we're heating we're heating locally here is good so the water weed temperature is 65 max so I think we're um, we'll be fine on that I don't think this is going to get to uh, 65 hopefully uh, if they weren't so useful and cute, they'd be dinner. Yeah, yes, exactly. They don't make enough meat, really, to do that. They're not. Uh, they're not shovels, are they? They're um, definitely not. Not that. Oh, I tell you what, I should have done is replaced the uh, this reservoir on here. I meant to do that uh, ages ago, and I didn't. <laughs> In a classic GT fungus, uh, start one thing, do. Go off and do another ten things, and then realise you've forgotten to do uh, do the first thing. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right for me. Okay, so we got that. Hmm. See, I'm wondering if there is actually genuinely a reason. It's definitely not plants. Yes, it's not a plant that's stopping them. It shouldn't be temperature. It shouldn't be pressure because the pressure's fine. Uh, they have the seeds. It's not blocked. It shouldn't be the room, because the room's fine. So what is it? What is it? Hmm. If anyone thinks that they, they can spot an issue with it, then, then please let me know, but I can't. I can't see a reason why that's not planting, other than they're just being annoying. Hmm. I have to stand here and watch them. That was a... Uh, that was also a theme, wasn't it? We had to sit and watch the pips before they started planting. Go on, I just want them to go over and do it. Instead, they just keep standing on the tile, taunting me. Hmm. Really makes you want to murder them at some point. Damn pips. Right, but well, we're okay up here. Uh, yep. Yep. That, so that reservoir's in. This should all be uh, pumping out, which is all good. So uh, we can we can train that down a bit. B, hello, hello. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, how are you doing? Don't feel not too scared. <laughs> You're in shock from your uh, your alien isolation stream. I saw you there. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, do I have? I may not have a. Um, <laughs> thank you, Ken. <laughs> great minds there. Great minds. Um, uh, I, well, I don't know up to my raid notification. I don't think it's working. I might need to I'd have a look at that. But uh, thank you, thank you for the raid. Uh, how's it going? Uh, oh, oh no, they did it! They did it! Yes. Okay. Um, it's going good. It's going good. We're going well. Was probably the correct English, but uh, it, it, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. We're um we're doing a giant uh, wild farm, so. Uh, I don't. I can't remember the last time you popped in, but this is uh, this is half of a farm, 
So this is like a quarter of a farm. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then the sour gas boiler's working. So you know we've got um, we've got we've got this monstrosity going uh, going with uh, natural gas. So uh, it's it's all good. It's all good. We um, and we're strip mining this out. Uh, and then we can do some more wild planting down here. So this is the the wild planting time. I spent ages doing that. That's it, it. Is a lot of gas pipes. Yeah, I mean, well, there's pipes everywhere in this base. You know, we've 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 got pipes galore. But this was uh, this was a bit of a nightmare to try and route. Actually, I had to you see, I've got loads of bridges and stuff to get the carbon dioxide out. There's just a lot of um, a lot of outputs. So a bit of a logistic problem, but we keep it nice and ordered and regular, and then uh, we've got a chance. As soon as you uh, you start spaghettiing, you never stop spaghetti. <laughs> And then uh, then you have a problem. No, you don't want the spaghetti. Uh, right, we can delete that and pull that one up. People keep suffocating. Can you guys hear alright as well? The game sounds sound really quiet to me. I don't know if it's because I'm zoomed out all the time or something, but uh hopefully that's alright. But yeah, V, I saw you I saw you stop playing only for a bit. You're taking a bit of a break. So, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Your base was going so well. You were, you were getting it. Taking on the uh, taking on the lessons. Uh, right. Just doing a bit more of the same here. So this this heating is kind of proving uh, mildly effective. <laughs> yeah, but good, good, good. I mean, we want we want lots of only. Ah, right. Okay. So we've actually got an atmosphere problem here. So this is me being an idiot because. Uh, we can solve that in about two seconds flat, so we should do that and get these growing because there's no reason they sh shouldn't, because their temperature is fine. Now uh, we just need to put some water down. Da -da 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 -da. Keep an eye on these. This is now the critical one, so we do that. Uh, wrangle these up. They keep wandering off. This is the thing with pips. They wonder why you don't want them to. Um, if we do water, 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 uh, auto bottle, top priority, we can get those done. Everything's top priority now. Good old uh, classic priority nine. Ah, right, and then where were we with this? So that, these these poor tubes on this planetoid have uh, really drawn the short straw with uh, with stuff to do. There is a lot here. Well, I say that there. Um, there's also a hell of a lot on the main planetoid too. So uh, those guys didn't exactly get off easy either. Right, cool. So yeah, if we put this in the right atmosphere, which is a little bit of water, then uh, it should start growing. So the yellow ones are growing, and the red ones are not. Okay, now the temperature's gone down. Is this water cold? Is it something like that. Ooh, classic. Pour a little bit of water on it, and then suddenly it starts getting too cold. But it should heat back up. I hope. Maybe. What was it? 20? Mm, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Take a bit of a while. So this is kind of heating this area. This area is just freezing cold over here. Um, we might have to uh, add something on there. Yeah, so I put some water on to try and get them to crow and I've just chilled them down to... Uh, uh, too cold. Did you just drop the water? Don't... What was me, was it? The tube just gave up. What was me? Well, me. Uh, I think I might just up this a bit. <laughs> we need more heat. More heat. Uh, better not cook anything to sand. That would be uh, that would be a little bit embarrassing. Right. Okay, we just got petroleum and oil everywhere. Map is a is a liquid mess. I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't we just finish this off too? Ooh, I see what I've also done here. Okay, that's why I didn't. I made a, uh, I made a uh, a spillway here so I can dump that into the uh, into the pump. Although the pump is blocked because uh, the brine is uh, stopped. I stopped this line because it kept breaking because it's too cold. So let's do that, and we can keep things moving. Okay. One problem after another. This is the uh, this is the 
standard owning gameplay loop. Oh dear. My uh, my mouse finger is struggling with this. So much clicking to uh, do all this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, already had a bit of RSI before this, so not helping. Uh, the um the super hot iron coming through here is useful though. <laughs> That's uh, unintentional. Uh okay, glass, glass, da, da. none? Why did that not get any? Interesting, interesting. Oh whoops, okay. Didn't yeah, didn't do that. My bad, my bad. Forgot to do that. Uh we can take those out. Oh, we got a baby pip. Pip squeak. Uh Oh. I'm getting a phone call. I am gonna need to take this. Alright, <laughs> we'll have edited it out of the board. Sorry, if you're watching the board and there's a little cut, uh, I had to pop AFK for a second. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep playing only. And keep building. Alright. Try, uh, try and keep busy for now and uh, work out what's going on later. Uh, okay, so we just drained this out. Uh, there's a little bit of super coolant in here. No idea how they got in there. I mean, there wasn't really any super coolant in this area, so that's uh, that's an achievement. Uh, but if we get rid of this, then uh, hopefully that will sort itself out. And also, this steam can disappear. This steam's been annoying me for a long time. Uh, so hopefully, the boiler should be insulated now, so it shouldn't be a problem. This is all cascading down here, and then we can actually put it somewhere where we can deal with it um, and then uh, yep keep digging there gotta keep our eyes on the damn pips da, 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 da. keep going see a very unglamorous uh, continuation of that <laughs> it's that the stream from the petroleum yes this this is the the famous renowned uh, uh, aluminium melting petroleum boiler. Uh, oh, we got gaps in the oil now. I assume that's just well venting. Mm. We should be okay to this now, actually. So this has kind of helped it stop breaking after I got the settings right. Uh, but this thing's now robust, which is good. Um, I definitely built it wrong, so that's kind of on me. Interesting there's two and a half tons of diamond in there. And quite a lot of rock too. Might have to uh, fish that out at some point. See if we can grab it. Uh, 